Hey guys, it's Jake here from the IntelliDrone team. Uh, this, what we have here, is a Parrot AR drone version 1.0. It's a, a drone basically capable of flight via Wi-Fi um, from iOS devices and through many applications available for PCs and other systems. And one of the things that people really like doing with these is modifying them so they can do extra things. Um, I'm part of a team at Murdoch University developing a system that's going to autonomously fly these devices um, with an embedded GPS chip that utilizes the Wi-Fi channel that's already made present by the drone back to your PC. So what we have here is a, an unmodified AR drone and essentially it's fairly easy to to see that, look, these can get a little bit daunting, but basically um, they're very, very easy to disassemble, they're very, very easy to modify, and adding GPS to them with uh, a little bit of code is actually quite simple. So um, this video is actually to show the implementation of a uh, GPS to the board um, that doesn't interfere with flashing capabilities of the board later on. So one of the problems that I've discovered when I was playing around with these drones is that sometimes the uh, firmware can go bad. When this happens, basically you need to do a hard firmware flash. Now there's plenty of information out there on the internet about it, but I can do a video on how to do that later on if, any, if there are any questions about it. But essentially it involves making a USB cable. So this USB cable is fairly simple. It's just a standard, I've just cut up a USB lead that I had at home, um, followed the wiring guide available online at tons of places and essentially just made this little cable. Now this one's a bit rudimentary and I need to put some epoxy on it to just make it safe to use, but as a get out of jail card for these drones, it was pretty great. So part of the issue with implementing these systems is that a lot of the time, people implement the GPS via soldering it onto these outside pins. Now, um, this is a great mod. This is a mod that uh, I developed with a bit of research online and, and just probing these pins and kind of analyzing with my team. Um, essentially what this mod's doing is it's using 5 volt from the ultrasonic sensors. It's using a TX pin and a ground pin. Now there's an instruction as to what these pins do and how to get serial pass through back to your computer. But at this stage, um, one of the issues that I had with this mod is that this uh, this uh, board here was firmware bricked um, after a, uh, after a short flight, and essentially it wouldn't respond to Wi-Fi. So rather than uh, kind of desoldering all this stuff, now I know it's not a lot of soldering um, for myself, but look, if if uh, someone's fairly new to this kind of thing, they don't want to risk damaging their drone. You don't want to be just desoldering and soldering these connectors all the time. So part of the issue is to use this cable, you actually need to connect it to these pins. Now, um, in this case, I just went to my local uh, electronics store and picked up this end connector. It's just a Molex connector, um, very similar to the old IDE style uh, 2.5 uh, internal hard drives for laptops. Um, basically, this, this won't connect onto this connector anymore simply because it was soldered to the pins. So I came up with a bit more of a graceful solution to it, and it actually looks really, really good embedded. This particular board has been uh, modified in the same way as the previous boards, but as you can see, I haven't damaged those pins. I've actually soldered to the underside of the board. Now, this was actually very, very simple. Um, Parrot do use a kind of an epoxy resin to protect the circuit board from, uh, I believe it's drops, I don't think it's really moisture because some of these larger ICs and, and certainly the top of the board is not protected at all, but the underside of the board was quite easy to solder to. So what I've done is I've picked up the ground pin and the TX pin on this side, uh, keeping that connector free, and obviously as you can see, the connector for the USB flashing capabilities still works fine. Now. As with any modification, try and uh, follow a guide to this. I've put a guide up online that worked with version 1.3.3. Um, please be careful, you know, it's your own responsibility with your drone, yada, yada, yada. But essentially, it's a fairly simple modification. So where it may get a little bit tricky for some people is uh, soldering to the tops of these boards was fairly easy. Uh, the 5 volt pins over here. I've actually not soldered onto this bottom connector here because if I damage that, you know, it's still a little bit messy. And, and also, I didn't want to have a lot of wires hanging off the top of this board. So I've actually picked it up on the ultrasonic board itself. So I identified that this pin here 
is the 5 volt high pin which aligns to the pin on the top of this board as well. Now with a little bit of probing I actually found a few pins that on there that were high. Um, I found a 3.3 volt and a 5 volt pin. Um, look, be careful with the 3.3 volt pin. I, I had a little bit of trouble um, getting a constant signal through. It seems to turn off and on a little bit. I believe that's the drone um, somewhat communicating with these sensors or changing frequencies or some something like that. But look, essentially it is a very simple modification uh, and when it's in the drone it looks really really good so the other um, modif thing with it in modif modifying any you know device like this is you want to keep it neat you want to keep it looking really nice and one of the ideas was to keep it looking completely stock even though I've done a fairly significant modification so this is the modification in a drone um, I've actually routed the cables underneath this board, through the board, and onto the top. So where the battery sits, um, I've just got the cables coming through, and this is our little GPS module here. This is a Surf Star 3. Um, it's really, really nice to work with. The connectors that I've actually um, used were the st stock standard connectors, and I used a small amount of Velcro on the bottom there to just mate up with the battery connector there. So let me show you this modern action. I'll just power up the drone. As you can see, that little uh, red pin came on. Now that red light uh, indicates that the GPS is powered up and it is trying to uh, kind of get a signal. Now inside here it won't get a signal because we've got a fairly well insulated roof um, and it tends to take quite a while to get a signal inside or it will actually fix. It does get some signals but nothing of uh, consequence. So. Essentially, this, this part of the modification is done. So follow my guide uh, on the IntelliDrone blog, um, and it will give you some really nice ideas as to how to wire this up, as to how to get it going. And I better debrick this board.